A suppressor will deuce both the sound and recoil of a gun. Like, the, the, maybe the sound, but the recoil, I don't I Kind of? Like, yeah, it kind of does. It's more of like a balance for the end of it. I don't... Okay, so yes, it incre- on, on pistols, yeah, it kind of reduces the recoil of the pistol, but that's because you just added a bunch of weight to the front of it. <laughs> yeah. So yes, it in- reduces the recoil. <laughs> but oddly, if you have a rifle and you add a suppressor to it, unless it's a flow-through suppressor, if you have a rifle and you add a suppressor to it, that actually increases bolt velocity, at least on an AR-15, anyway. And increases recoil subsequently? It increases bolt velocity, which does increase the felt recoil of the gun. Not in a way that you would... It doesn't make it kick more. It just makes the bolt move faster, which does increase wear and tear on it, unless you get a flow-through suppressor, and then most of the gas is just vented out the front of the gun. Whatever. Fascinating. It's Yes, it's true, but like... But not always! It's... it's Dumb, whatever. I got. Okay. I got. I have a G11. I don't care. Uh, all right. Yeah. Put a suppressor on that. I don't think you can. I'm... Not because it wasn't designed. Well, actually, yeah. It's because it wasn't designed to have a suppressor on the end of it. Because I mean, the barrel is just literally flat to the end of the thing. I, you can't really. You can't really put a suppressor on a G11, but that's mostly because you can't get one to put a suppressor on it, and the barrel doesn't stick out far enough. Make one out of pipes. Hello, strong. <laughs> looking, looking festive today. Yes, I. You know, honestly, for strong, I think it would be more appropriate if he was Krampus. But <laughs> yeah. it's um, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Merry Christmas, strong. What needs smashing? What needs jolly? <laughs> Why aren't you festive, Ellen? Get into the Christmas spirit. She didn't get the memo. Look, Piper is festive. Time for one of our little chats, is it? Kate is festive. Darlene is. Darlene, are you wearing a Chinese stealth suit under that? <laughs> she may. <laughs> Where did you get the Chinese stealth suit? I want it. <laughs> All right, fun. Kate is looking. You fishing for a snog? You fish netting for a snog? I'm, I'm, yeah, I am definitely. <laughs> yes, that is exactly what I'm doing. Um, yeah. Life is so much easier when you're numb. Roxy's the baby of the bunch. We all look out for her. Oh, it's the goat! Or the yeah, it's the goat! It's the goat in Sweden that everyone tries to set on fire. Oh, I didn't realize they had a Christmas effigy. Yeah, they well, the, it's not intended to be that. I'm I'm probably remembering this incorrectly, but there's this massive goat that they build out of like hay and <laughs> straw in Sweden, right? Oh yes, the burning goat festival. They build this huge goat out of hay and straw, <laughs> and then People try to set it on fire because they get drunk and they, and it's made out of flammable materials. And when you build a giant thing out of flammable materials and then ask people politely not to set it on fire, they're going to set it on fire. Mm. <laughs> you know what, Deacon? I'm getting I, tired of waiting. Fucking, you, you, get, you get it, man. <laughs> you it, do you! Straffengoter. Gavelbocken is a traditional Christmas display erected in Gal- Galve, Sweden. Um, it's been the subject of repeated arson attacks. Despite security measures in a nearby fire station, the goat has been burnt to the ground most years since its first appearance in 1966. <laughs> As of December 2022, 38 out of 57 goats have been destroyed or damaged in some way. Jeez. Burning or destroying the goat in some way is illegal. And, uh, normally it would carry a three-month prison sentence if you're caught. Let's see. Where is... I wanna, I wanna find this. I, oh my god, they have a timeline with, which describes how, whether they survived or were destroyed. <laughs> 66, destroyed by fire. 67, survived. 68, survived. Fence added. 69, inside of goat protected by chicken wire netting. Still destroyed by fire. Looks like a fun read. 1970, destroyed six hours after construction. (laughs) 71, smashed to pieces. 1985, guarded by Securitas, which is a private security company, and soldiers from the Galve 14 Infantry Regiment. Got a PMC protecting a straw goat. And the actual military. (laughs) Destroyed in January by fire. How how festive. Not even the military can save you. You know what they say, if the straw goat survives six more weeks of winter. Everyone is looking. Oh, even dog meat's got little Christmas antlers. Yeah. Ah! (laughs) What a a wonderful and happy Christmas time we have. Wait, where is, uh, where's, where's Kiri? I don't know, somewhere. Oh, there she is. So much to learn and see. (laughs) I... Hi, Kiri. Hi, Kiri. Well, I guess we'll just... Oh my god, Strong! <laughs> You're supposed to... 
set the Chris. You know what? Maybe he. That's what he's doing. He's gonna set the Christmas tree somewhere. He's spreading Christmas cheer. Uh, yeah. Manually. Strong use milk of human kindness to make eggnog. Lock and load. Lock it. Lock and load. Why? What? What? What is happening? Um, I'm I'm locked and loaded. Where are we fighting? Out here in the open? Bring it on! Nice Christmas missile launcher. Thank you. Chris missile launcher. Ooh, that's good. It's your toe, it's your missile toe launcher. It's missile toe launcher. Steel on for Futurama, yeah. No one can be strong. <laughs> hey, hey, Brotherhood of Steel, look what I got. Look what I got with me. Look, it's Santa. It's Santa, and he says you've been a very naughty boy this year. But he's a super mutant, quite the juxtaposition. You have to kill Santa now. Yeah. Can't do it, can ya? Didn't think so. You're awfully green, Santa. Santa is big and hungry for cookies. Santa fell in a vat of FEV. It just, it just happens sometimes. Sorry, kid. Even FEV cannot crush Santa's Christmas spirit. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm going to bring you a Christmas present of... Hang on, I have something. Trudy, I have something for you. Is your son still a drug addict? Why humans like capsules? So Wonderful presents for you. Don't worry, they're free of charge. So you don't have to worry about me doing stuff to get your son addicted because these are completely free and I will bring him more drugs for free. So he's still, man, it has been, it's been like three years and he's still just in the corner there. It takes a long time to detox. Merry Christmas, Trudy's son. Have some jet. Also for Christmas, I bring you the gift of a bullpup rifle. From Halo. You like Halo. Everyone likes Halo. Kids love Halo. You're a kid. You love Halo. You're a kid with the voice of Garrus. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some gamer fuel in his fridge there, so that's how you know he likes Halo. You see that? That yellow Nuka Cola? Oh, yeah, he's got he's got gamer sops in there. <laughs> Greetings. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Hey there. How you doing? Uh what are you what are you doing here? Oh, just had some business in Diamond City's all. You know, the whole bureaucratic process and all that bullshit. Oh, shoot. I done forgot to introduce myself, hadn't I? Please do. <laughs> Name's Andy Chapman. Pleasure to meet you. You know, you seem like the dependable sort. Think you'd be interested in a job? I am always interested in jobs. What is it that you want me to do? Now, I don't need much. Just someone to lend me a hand on my farm while I'm busy with other affairs. All I'd need from you is to help fix up a few things around the house and do some of the dirty work for me. Uh, that's dirty as in the literal sense, not as in the uh, assassinate the president to further my business interest sense. So, what'd you say? Interested? This is a trap, right? You're gonna lure me to your farm and then try to cannibalize me? Or, you're gonna knock me unconscious and take all my things and then leave me naked outside of Albuquerque? Without a kidney! He's pondering it, he's thinking about it, you put that idea in his head. Mm, it's blossoming. Yep, he's gonna do that now. Yay! 100%. I always wanted to see Albuquerque. Nah, you ain't gotta worry about that. I'm a vegetarian. How the hell are you a vegetarian in the post-apocalypse? In the spirit of Christmas, we will help you tend to your farm. Alright, yeah, why not? Oh, shucks. <laughs> it's great. I've gotta give more a couple more minutes here, but uh, you can go ahead and start uh, heading toward the farm. Yeah, just uh, head up on north, past the old run downtown Hanksuary, and I'll meet up with you somewhere around there. Past the, past the old what? Town Hanksuary? Hanksuary? Oh, the town sanctuary! Oh, uh, okay. Hello, hello, little cow. Merry Christmas. And then I crossed the. Oh, the rivers! Oh, that was frozen. Oh, I kind of thought it was too, but. Ah, uh, yes, the fallen leaves indicating the end of autumn. And a snow covered in rocks! What? What? <laughs> and it's so... Yep. Somewhere around here. Just gotta head north of Sanctuary. I apparently. feel like... I feel. Oh, here he is. I found him. I found him. Caught up, did you? Oh, good. You made it. I was scared you got mauled by like a pack of mole rats or something. Yeah, that has sucked. Now, the farm ain't far north of here. About an hour's hike at the most. And let me tell you, Our... you are in for a treat. It's actually pretty darn beautiful around this time of year. An hour! I enjoy a good nature walk from time to time. Although I'm not prepared for it. My, you, you should have told us. Yeah, where the hell is your farm exactly? Oh, if you're worried about the trip, it honestly ain't that far off, I swear. You See, just said an hour. You head far up north again, and you actually start seeing leaves and shit on the trees. Crazy, right? Well, just past that's the start of the farm. 
All right, well, I guess there's no point in wasting time. Let's go. All right, let's get out then. Maybe it only takes him an hour because the Brahmin needs tending too. Maybe it needs frequent breaks. Maybe. He did, he did just say it was an hour, right? I didn't hear things. He said it. He said it was an hour. Well, maybe it's only 45 minutes and he rounded up. I mean, at this lackadaisical pace, I can see an hour, sure. Yeah, it's a bit much. Is it? Is it literally that thing right up there? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, sometimes it sometimes takes to what see the, the crowd. No, nope. how did these get? Whatever. I'm not touching them because they're probably a booby trap. Uh, it just garbage in random places. It's not like people litter. Oh no! Like who would just leave a Nuka Cola Quantum? Sitting in the middle of nowhere. Who would leave all these 55-gallon drums? Well, that I can... <laughs> Stealth technology. Oh, what the... We're going up this path. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I got really confused there. Uh, you say these trees got leaves on them, do they? Well, it's, it's winter, so no, not, not yet. Not much farther now. We'll be there in a few minutes. When we get there, I'll have to go and tuck away more. Uh, you ought to head up to the house and find a to-do list I got hanging around there somewhere. Uh, All once right. you get that done, come and find me and we'll go from there. Okay, I'll go do that. I'll head up on ahead then. Are we getting paid to do his chores? I think so. I hope we're getting commissioned for this. I didn't even tell him what my rates were. This is a nice farmhouse, yeah? It's out here in the middle of nowhere. I can, I can enjoy that, actually. It's a nice... Yeah, I would, I would live out here. I would fix the roof, though. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you think that's going to be one of the chores we have to do? I don't want to do framing. I hate framing. Uh, yeah, without a crane, it's going to be tough. Uh, yeah, I got some festive lights in here. It's a little Christmassy. Yeah. You're decorating this place, too. Maybe have a party. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I wouldn't have a party, but... All right, where is this list? Get some Christmas music on the radio, maybe. To-do list. Hey, we found it. Fix broken fence at Brahman Pen. He did not get very much schooling. Pick corn at least 12. Or 72. Pick moot, mut, moot, fruit, six or more. Feed moor. Oh, moor is the name of the cow. That's right. Feed more gourds. Pay someone to do this for me. Well, let's go find someone to pay, I suppose. All right, yeah, I guess we'll go find someone to pay to do this for us. Yeah. Might as well go to the shed and grab some tools. That's probably where they would be. All right, what do you got in here? Mm-hmm. Med kit in case you stab yourself. We'll probably need glue to fix the uh, to fix the fence. If I'm being honest. Put the shovel in here, though. Clean up your tools. Got to keep things tidy. Tires do not go in the shed. We gonna let them rust out here? Let them. It's a tire. It's not gonna do anything. Grow mold? I don't. I don't know. Close the gate so the cow doesn't get out. Go around the perimeter, checking things out. Yep, there's a hole right there. Patch it up with some plywood. Yay! It's been fixed! Well done. Is that the only part that needed fixing? We should I... check the rest of the perimeter. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a we'll give it a once-over. Oh, well, this just goes up to the building, so... Okay, that's yeah. fine, yeah. Hello, cow. Oh, no, we gotta feed her. Gotta get some gourds. You guys, you gotta close the fence when you come through. Otherwise, she'll get out. Come on. Eh, she doesn't seem to be too bothered by anything. Three, four, five, and six. Harvested. Seems to be growing well. And then we put them into the box. Mutt fruit. There we go. And now the corn. Which is also right out here in front of the house. I would think that he would want to put a fence all the way around it, but what do I know? Cow, eat this gourd! See, she's happy. A delicious gourd. Just one gourd is all. Long hope we find milk of human kindness soon. I'm sure we'll find it for Christmas, Strong. Sit, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? She's gonna escape. <laughs> Strong, you need... We'll keep our beasts in the cage. Yep. More, more. Come on. Oh, good more. Good cow. I know she's a Brahmin. Shut up. I, I, I like calling I, her a cow. We call her cows. It's fine. No, 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 more. You stay in the pen. More, stay in the pen. More, no. Oh. no, no. More is just following you. She's just, oh. You gave me food. She's happy I gave her a gourd. Oh. She knows that I've been watching all those videos of little Highland cows on YouTube. Those are adorable. They're so cute. 
I hope she doesn't try to come in the house. <laughs> if yeah. she comes up the stairs, she can't get back down. Oh, yeah. Cows can't go downstairs. All right, so we did, we've did. we done everything except pay someone to do this for me. So let's report back in and see if that's it. Strong, go do all these chores for me, even though I just did them. Hey. You finished that list? Yep, everything is uh, done and taken care of. Oh, that's great. I really appreciate the help, you know. You know, you've proven yourself to be the dependable type. Uh, think you'd be interested in a bigger job? What, because yeah. he fed your cow a, a melon? Yeah, sure, dependable. And I didn't feed it any clover, either. Is that bad for cows? Yeah, because you don't want ca cows eating clover. Why it's not? bad for their tummy. Oh. Well, he, he did let it loose of the pen, but... Don't tell him that. <laughs> you see, my pa was sort of... sort of legendary. Why? The milkman, they called him. He'd travel around to these small towns and help them out. Is that why you Teach have red them hair? Farm, show them how to defend themselves, stuff like that. Well, my pa ain't around anymore, so people stop talking about the milkman. But I don't think that's right. Just because the man's gone doesn't mean the legend has to die too. You want us to build a statue to your father? Oh, sorry for your loss. Sounds like he was a pretty cool dude. Thanks. I appreciate it. Anyways, I got to thinking that maybe I should start living up to my pa's name a bit more. Of course, I can't go travel like he did. I got to take care of the farm after all, so I needed to do something more local. And then, boom! That's when it hit me. Why not open up one of them soup kitchen-like places, you know? Feed the poor and all that shit? That's noble. Then I thought, well, I can't really afford to run a soup kitchen all year round, so uh, why not do it as a sort of Christmassy thing, right? I'm always up for some classic Christmas cheer. Unless I'm in a bar and someone changes Slayer to Christmas music, then you're getting punched in the face. Does that happen to you before? He's speaking from experience. No, that was that was a thing that happened at a bar. Oh. Uh, Slayer was playing, and then this woman was at the bar, and she turned off Slayer to play Christmas music, and basically the guy that had paid to play Slayer punched her in the face. <laughs> A little bit of an overreaction, but, you know, I, I get it. Sometimes you're in the mood for raining blood, and uh, when someone <laughs> when someone puts on Mariah Carey instead of raining blood, you get a little loosey-goosey. Just not in the mood for it. Now, the first thing we got to do is we're going to need more. So go fetch that little rascal and uh, bring him up to the front of the house. Oh, I you know, I think I may have already done that. Let's go grab that cow. Oh, wait, where'd she go? Uh... Uh oh. Yeah, he wasn't kidding when he said she was a little rascal. Where did she go? Where's Moore? Where did she escape to? Moore, where are you? Where did that cow go? Moo moo! Moo moo! Maybe the cow went back to its pen. Oh god, I hope so. Ah, uh, must be inside. Yep, that makes sense. Oh, okay. Oh no! Oh no! Oh boy, we've got some infestation. Oh my... I, it wasn't me. The cow was dead when I got here. I was- oh my god, I am so mad right now. Oh. The mole rats got the cow. It's really unfortunate. It's really sad. I am not happy about this. Yeah, well- That poor cow! It didn't really do anything. It was, we, we formed a bond and then it died. Great. So. Hey. Did you get more on up yet? I, I hope you like beef because you got about 2,000 pounds of it now. That cow weighed a ton? <laughs> that's a heavy cow. How heavy are cows? Not normally. I don't think it's normally. I'm not a farmer. I don't know. Uh, what? Moore's, Moore's dead. Mole rats got to her. Him, whatever. Well, was it a cow or a steer? What? Mole rats in the effing barn? Jesus Christ. Moore didn't stand a chance. All right, well... I suppose I'll go take care of more then. In the meantime, however, uh, I've got something for you to do. There's this merchant down in the Commonwealth named Jack. Deals in all sorts of crap. I recently ordered about eight Brahmin from him, and I need you to bring them back up to the farm. Once you got that taken care of, I'll try to figure out what we do next now that we don't got more. Alright. I feel bad. Yeah. Poor cow. Didn't really deserve that. <sighs> also, you raise a good point. He, he says more is a boy cow, but it had udders. Yeah, so was it a steer? I, I'm not, again, not a farmer. <laughs> I don't know how much they weigh either. Yeah, how much do cows normally weigh? Better Hang look on. it up on your bit boy. Ha yeah, I just want, I, I want to know. I want to know. 2021, it was destroyed by fire. Oh, wait, no, that's the thing <laughs> about the goat again. <laughs> 
Holy shit! On average, 2,400 pounds for a male adult bull and 1,600 pounds for a female adult cow. Okay, so split the diff. Yeah, Jeez. a ton. A 1,200 pound beef animal will yield a carcass of approximately 750 pounds. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Just because it weighs 2,000 pounds, a lot of it's like hooves and gristle. You can't eat it. And guts. Yeah. Yeah. Strong want to smash something. Uh, well, Strong, you had your chance to smash the mole rats before they killed more, and you failed at that. Such a shame. But it's hey. It's alright, I'll get over it. We'll find some more. I'm already kind of over it. <laughs> ah, more! <laughs> ah! These humans like fighting. Yes, they do. They do like fighting a lot. You gonna oh. buy some crap or what? I'm here to pick up eight Brahmin that were ordered by an Andy Chapman. Eight? Brahmin? Jesus Christ, where the hell do you think I'm keeping those little grass munchers? In these crates? I don't know. Look, I had your Brahmin at one point, alright? But, if you haven't noticed, I'm sort of situated in bumfuck Rock Bottom Avenue here. Tribals attacked my ranch and took everything I had. Ooh. And now all I got left is my booze and Dan. Is Dan that little dinosaur with a helmet on? Because he's kind of cute. Yeah. You said tribals attacked your ranch? Is that something you we can help with? Nah, that ship sailed. If you really want those Brahmin, though, I might be able to help you. Now, the way I see it, the problem we're facing here is that I don't have your Brahmin anymore. However, that doesn't mean we can't just get some more. All you gotta do is take a couple of tranquilizer darts, shoot them in the neck or the back or the dick, wherever you want, then <laughs> wrangle them back on home. <laughs> of course, you're going to need my help for that. Brahmin aren't just gonna up and follow you for no goddamn reason. Why not more, did? You've got to, uh, convince them. The gourd? And by convince them, I mean inject them with a syringe of your own blood. Oh, what? Are you trying to make a new tuberculosis? Even though they got two heads, Brahmin are about as smart as if they had none. So, you're going to have to trick them into following you. If I take a drop of your blood and combine it with some Brahmin pheromones, they'll think you're their next mate. You know, I don't like the sound of that because I don't want Brahmin getting the wrong idea. Yes, I think cows are cute, but in a platonic way, not a weird rutting season. That's horrifying. Look, if you want those Brahmin, that's all I can do for you. When you come around to it, come talk to me, and I'll get you set up with what you need. I already, I'm, I already came around to it, and I'm, I'm ready to get the cows to follow me by using my blood and cow pheromones, which are totally not a thing. They're totally not a thing, Roadcone. He thinks. What he... can I get for you? Cow pheromones aren't a thing. But don't tell the alarm clock, because the alarm clock is simple. I need some equipment for tranquilizing a Brahmin. Let me just prick a bit of your old blood, and there. Ow! Got it. And here's something to shoot those strengths out of as well. So you're not going up jamming syringes into big ass cows like an idiot. Great. I got a Brahmin tranquilizer. And a, sh oh, a syringe, oh, I hate the syringe rifle. I guess we're firing syringes at cows today. Yay, all right, let's go fix this syringe Sweet rifle a little bit, because I'm sure it's broken. You hold on. I, fix. Just get new one. I love getting firearms for Christmas. Holly jolly firearms. Oh, this is cute, I like this. Oh, nice little lamp. That's, that's, a nice little, that's a nice little touch, I like that. Yeah. I like that. A bit more lighting, yeah. I was a pretty moody teenager. Now I only have one mood. Guess what that is? <laughs> I'm gonna guess elation. What? We need to use that bench? Nothing. No, no, no I just did. Oh! <laughs> Look at him. He's fun. All right, all right. Craft. Humans like machines too much. Make humans weak. Ugh, shut up, Strong. Do you ever feel like just running for the sheer pleasure of it? That sounds like exercise. Can't say I do, Curie, <laughs> but I appreciate your enthusiasm. 
You're customizing the MP7, not the syringer. I see you over shut, there. Shut up! Shut up! No, I'm not. I'm not doing anything. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Get a semi. I say semi decent <laughs> stock, but God, these all suck. <laughs> They're made out of. Bikes. I don't want a bolt sticking into my shoulder. We'll just go with that one. <laughs> Good lord. People make do with what they have. We should use standard sights. And what well, they have is garbage. What if I have to shoot them at night? Here, we'll paint some radium on it. Just don't put the paintbrush in my mouth. I put the paintbrush in my mouth. Delicious radium! Great, that's going right to my bones. I'm Darlene. Alright, we'll hotkey this thing. Darlene, shut up! For Christmas, I'm gonna shoot Darlene with a... With a <laughs> cow tranquilizer? For Christmas, I'm shooting Darlene with a cow tranquilizer. That's your Christmas <laughs> present, Darlene. Off we go to the Fiddler's Green Trailer Estates. Is that the name of it? Yes. Okay. How are the hippies doing here? They... No, they, remember they were all dead. We How is the one were... girl doing that didn't die? I think she went somewhere else. <laughs> Just... Yeah, alright, maybe. Let's get out of here before the cars start attacking us. What the? How do I get up there? I, I don't know. There you go. What you seeing? I don't like that apparently they performed a dark ritual. <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> the cannon! Found another sci-fi card, did ya? Alright, we've sent the gun to blow up the sun! <laughs> this is so much fun! Quick, get outside so we can watch it blow up the sun! Oh my god! This is gonna be great! I love you, Charlie! I love you, Dana! Let's blow up the sun every weekend! <laughs> well, I don't see the girl- Swimming! Shut up, Strong! <laughs> we'll just assume she got torn apart, because I don't see her here. We'll assume she got eaten. Keep an eye out for cows, but, uh... I don't see one. I see a... Blowfly? Oh, hope those mosquitoes didn't kill the cows. <laughs> just every time we God, find a... God, that'd make me so mad! Every time we find a cow who's just been recently murdered. Oh, I'd be so mad, dude! That's the running theme of this adventure. Jesus! Uh, too far. There was a bug behind you. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Whoa! Came out of nowhere, but you thought you shot him so hard, he broke. Good job. I think I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Strong gonna crush wings. Bug not fly anymore. There he is. Hey, you tell him, Strong. <laughs> God, they're buzzing! Yeah, it's obnoxious. This is winter! I'm not supposed to be able to hear it anymore! That's one of the best things about winter! Hurry, it's lessened! Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> All okay, right, whatever. Let's just leave it. Let's, let's go, let's go, let's Cal's go. Cal's obviously not here. Let's, let's ignore all of this. It's dumb and I hate it. <laughs> Ooh! Brahmin! Hey, we found them! And that one, oh, you missed its dick, but you got him. I did. What the f? It, it's now tranquilized. It's been rendered unconscious. Oh, okay. Got it, got it. That's okay, okay. And now you have injected it with a serum, and it is no longer undomesticated. It is. Domesticated! Enthralled. Oh, it, no, it's seduced. <laughs> it's, oh, boy. It's enthralled. <laughs> That's good. All right, cows, come with me. And you'll see, it's a world of pure cow imagination. Servitude at a farm. Let's go. They should be right. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are these people going to start attacking us, and then one of you accidentally blows up the cows? Ooh, we'll see. I'll try to keep collateral damage to a minimum. If they were raiders, they'd be mindlessly violent. What? Nope, they're coward. mindlessly violent. Understood, firing the missiles. Are they missiles or are they rockets? I don't know the difference. I'm just firing. He's so tough. Why is this guy so strong? Beat him to death with the Christmas tree. Strong, get him. He just shrunk. Oh my god. No one can beat strong. That's a hefty Christmas tree, strong. Jeez Louise. Now we know why you got your namesake. Living take what dead leave. So. Oh, they're okay. His name wasn't Calfskin. That's the gang he was part of. Okay, they got some cow worshiping gangs or something. Anyway, let's get this cow home, shall we? This is a fun Christmas. <laughs> it's been pretty good so far. <sighs> Ooh. Yeah. So what happens when we all fast travel to the same spot? It's like that pig game, but uh, with cows. 
pig stacking game. It's kind of like Yahtzee, but it's with little rubber pigs instead of dice. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then the way the little pigs land once you once you dump them out of the cup is how many points you get. Oh. And if you get like multiple, if you get pigs stacked on top of each other, then I think you just win. I'd never heard of that. Yeah. It sounds fun though. Those look like cows. Oh, but there's people. Yep. They look like threats. Okay, fine. You gotta keep in mind that there are caravaneers on the road. You can't just kill everyone who's nearby a cow. Well, you know what? They're caravaneers and we want their cows. We're gonna have to kill them anyway. Kill the cows? Okay, if you say so. No, I... don't kill the cows. Okay, well, make up your mind. How much you got left? <laughs> I, why are they called calfskin if they just look like normal raiders? I don't know. It's the name of the gang, I guess. A little weird. Tranquilizer time. Dang, there's three of them here. Wow, you... We got a whole bunch of cows, man. I've never seen... You're a pro-cow seducer. I gotta say, almost like you had some prior experience. But I'm not judging M much. Judging a little. Mike, what can I say? I just attract girls with large udders. <sighs> Alright, there should just be one more cow. Oh, We're under attack by bugs! Get them! Get the bugs! Oh my god. Oh my god, what is happening? Ow! You didn't believe me, but I told you, there were bugs there! Ow! Oh, god damn it! Get away from the cow! I can't see! Oh, Strong just getting started! Strong, did you hit me in the head with that tree? <laughs> well, there's- yeah, alright! There's more than one cow over here, that way we can lose a few! They're expendable! I get it, because they're cows! Whoa! Expendable! <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, I'm so glad that you're missing those rockets. <laughs> Is he gonna be mad if I bring him more than eight cows? Man, we got a lot of cows. All right. Yeah, we can level up. Yay. Put a point in cow wrangling. Oh, wait. You don't need it, apparently. Yeah, I'm really good at it. Tranquilize eight Brahmin and bring them back to the farm. No, you've tranquilized ten. That's too many. He just shoots the cows, like, in front of me. It's just like, wow, dude. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. And then roll rats pop out of the ground and kill the other eight. And we got to go back and get some more. Oh, my more. God. <laughs> Look at all those cows. That is that is a lot of cows. Quite a few cows. And we'll just steer them towards this building. Steer! Yeah. Should I put them in the pen? Probably. I see you've gone and got the Brahmin up here. Looks like Jack even gave you some extra ones, too. Don't really need them, though. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, is there any other bullshit you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need you to promise not to laugh, all right? Well, I mean, I guess you don't have to promise, but just don't be a dick, all right? I need you to get me a milkman suit. Why do you need a milkman suit? That's not Christmassy. Oh, uh, don't worry about it for now. I'll explain later. All right, well, where the hell do I even find one? You see, there's this old costume shop down by the city that nobody shops at anymore on account of the, you know, nuclear holocaust and all. And yeah. last I heard, they still got a couple of milkman suits left in stock. If you could go fetch one of them for me, I'd appreciate it a lot. In fact, I'll go right on ahead and put the store's coordinates right into your pit boy. Because I know you don't got the heart to say no. Thanks, and good luck. <laughs> Yay, look, all the cows are... Oh, you know, they're kind of trying to go in there. Yeah, I mean, that pen was made for one, and now we have eight, so... All right, cows, let's go into the pen. Come along, cows. It's like herding sheep. You may have to push the cows into the pen if you want. I don't really want to push them. Or maybe we'll leave, and when we come back, they'll have sorted themselves. May you know, we'll just count on that. And it's also like... Ah, we'll cow ah, them. It's also not like they can really leave the cell anyway, so, you know. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, here we are. Let's play, little human. What do you see, Strong? You see enemies? For Elder Maxon. You know what? I'm just gonna let. I'm just, why don't we just let the brother? Yeah, deal I'm, with they'll it. be able to deal with it. It's yeah, fine. brother, can deal with it. It's totally fine. I didn't know this one was intact back here. I don't think I've ever been in here in my entire life. It's a very small store. Well, there's a hazmat suit, a dirty postman uniform, greaser jacket, some garbage, uh, milkman suit, and hey. a milkman hat. That's what we're here for. And the guy that was shot, and then the murderer left the murder weapon here. All right, well, I guess that's all we need to do. We yep. got the costume. That was simple. I'm not going to complain. <sighs> oh, I see, a, I see a Brahmin with stuff on it. A, a pack Brahmin. Okay, he's already got it outfitted, maybe. We're getting ready to do stuff? Maybe somebody else came by to stop by and say hi. 
Oh, oh no, oh no, there's bad guys here. Oh, the they come to steal the Brahmin. Oh no. <laughs> we stole them first, you die now. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> That was deeply satisfying watching him watching him just bonk someone with a crystal kick. Do it again! Do it again! <laughs> you are weak. Uh. I am strong. Oh, strong! Can you get him before I do? You better hit him quick! Oh! <laughs> uh, so Andy is probably dead, right? I would. I, he's got to be, right? Or maybe he was hunkered down. Oh, uh, maybe he's cowering in fear. Cower. Ah! I don't know. I, I don't feel like Andy is the kind of person to cow to their demands. <laughs> <laughs> hey. How you, how you doing? Oh, hey there. What the hell happened? Well, these fellas just show up on out of nowhere demanding I turn over all the Brahmin I owned. Said no could do. Need him for the soup kitchen. Ouch. They didn't like that too much. Maybe the way I said it. Yeah, maybe. Anyways, they started shooting, and I took a good run around the gut. Hurts like a bitch, tell you what. Well, you're holding up pretty well for someone who got shot All in right. the gut. I'll admit that I'm in a bit of a pickle here, and sort of need your help. Stimpaks ain't gonna help at this point. I got some strong stuff in the shed. I'll need you to go run down there and get it for me, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, I can go do that. I'll go get the strong stuff. Oh, the strong stuff's right here. <laughs> hey, strong. Uh, do, do whatever it is. Stim packs ain't gonna work. I need rural medicine. The need... healing power of powders and roots and stuff. Yeah, that's what I need. That's what I need right there. I need the healing power of roots. Also, three of those Brahmin died in the attack, so I'm gonna need to go get some more. Ah, the strong stuff. Marvelous. We open the box up of the strong stuff, and it's just corn. It's smelling salt. Oh, I think he died. Andy, no! Fuck! He died! Big plan. Rent out building by Diamond City. Hire help on farm. Yeah. Try to get help with soup kitchen. Dress up more as Rudolph. Get Brahmin from Jack. Get Milkman suit to look more like Dad. Bring supplies to chef at soup kitchen. Celebrate! Maybe there's food in the cow barn. That would make sense. Gourds! Cow! Mm, nice life. All right, we got one. Okay. Maybe. Well, two of you include both their heads separately. Does that mean I have 20? Oh, wait. 16. Does that mean I have 20 head of... No, because I have 10 cows. Oh, that's right. So yeah. does that mean I have 20 head of cattle? <laughs> yeah, I guess so, huh? <laughs> Come along, cow. Not... No, not you, strong. <laughs> not the smartest crayon in the box. It's not the sharpest knife in the tool shed. <laughs> he keeps eating the purple crayons. Those aren't the tastiest ones, but... No, the purple ones are the tastiest, but they're the worst for you. Is that the You're case? a Marine! You should know this! <laughs> I, I like the red-orange ones, but not the orange-red ones. It's a distinct difference in taste. It's like having Kirkland brand cheese snacks if you eat the orange-red ones. <laughs> <laughs> Kirkland brand. Ugh. I don't actually go to those big box stores. I don't know. Kirkland brand could actually be good. It tastes like poverty. <laughs> I'm sorry, Andy. We couldn't. We couldn't save him. We did our best, but, uh, yeah, you have attracted the ire of those captains. I don't know how I have attracted their ire. It doesn't make any sense. They followed the cow prince to Andy's house. They were tracking the cows. Oh. We led them right to Andy. The guilt! Oh, whatever. Is fleeting. Goodbye. I know I've, I've heard stories of farmers that'll, like, raise cows, and then, like, their neighbor slaughters all of their cows, and then they slaughter their neighbor's cows, because, like, you have the cows, and you have them for a while, and you get attached to them. You can't slaughter your own cows. And then it's just like, I don't want to hurt my own cows. That so makes you, a lot of sense. you give them to your neighbor, and then you kill your neighbor's cows, because whatever, they're just my neighbor's cows, so I don't really give a shit. <laughs> I didn't form an emotional connection with these cows over the last nine months. I don't know how long it takes to raise a cow. Again, not a farmer. <laughs> well, now I am. <laughs> Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 hey, I can't see it. There's too many cows in the way. We landed on top of a bunch of raiders, gunners. Ah! Okay. Oh, oh my god. You put that thing down. How dare you use that trash weapon? The assault rifle. <laughs> get rid of this, get rid of this trash. Um. Someone's, wait, no, those are guards. Those are normal guards, right? Are you sure? I, I'm not sure, but Are they, you sure about I that? I don't know. 
Are you sure about I, that? He's not shooting us. All right, yeah, he isn't shooting us. That's a valid point. Oh, he's a Diamond City guard. What you Joe? doing out here, buddy? Park the car in the yard. How about I hammer you in the heart with a haymaker? <laughs> that's real. That's real Massachusetts man right there. Real Bostonian. Bostoner? Bostagander. Hey, we got a chef. I'm going to guess by the fact that you're bothering to talk with me that you're probably the delivery person Andy was talking about sending. No, I'm here to speak to you about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> ha. Very funny. I'm glad you're here and all. But we're running a few hours behind my schedule, so I don't got much time for chit-chat. I'll start getting the Brahmin unloaded, and I'll hopefully have this place running in a few hours. Next time you see Andy, try to tell him to keep on schedule. All right. <laughs> uh, well, he's dead. No time for chit-chat. Too busy working here. Okay. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. <laughs> okay, I, I uh, guess we saved Christmas then. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. <laughs> nice flashlight, milkman. It's very important. It pasteurizes the milk. <laughs> this is my milk pasteurizing flashlight. Did you know? This is a, a funny thing. Did you know that's how you you um, say pasteurize milk in sign language? Is you make the sign for milk and then you you drag it across your eyes. That's how you say pasteurize milk in sign language. I'm rolling my eyes right now, but it's you can't true. tell. It's true. Do you know what else is really weird? The guy that invented pasteurization, Louis Pasteur. Yeah. He also invented the cure for rabies and anthrax. I guess if you're working with cows. Isn't that weird? It is. It's just, that's like, that's just so weird to me that the guy that invented pasteurization also was like, oh yeah, you know, I've saved millions through the pasteurization of milk. By the way, here's a cure for anthrax. <laughs> oh, and rabies. You know, the disease that's been with humans since we've been humans. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I cured that. Yeah. Quirks of history. Very fascinating. You want to know a fun fact about when I was curing rabies? Sure. Anyone that was working in the rabies lab had to have a gun on them, and if they got stabbed with one of the needles accidentally, we just shot them. In case they went rabid, huh? We didn't actually have to shoot anybody, but it's a fun fact. <laughs> He's considered the father of modern microbiology. That's insane. Yeah. Cool dude, Louis Pasteur. Wait, is he the same guy that injected small children with cowpox to protect them from smallpox? No, I, that was whoever invented the smallpox vaccine. These are di that's a different thing. Oh. Anthrax and anthrax and rabies are a different thing. Okay, okay. Just had to make sure. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of want to just kill her. D God, that is like that. <laughs> I turned around the corner and the Rockettes dance line was just in front of me. <laughs> On the. Third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight cows. Seduced. <laughs> I don't know why she gave me eight cows on the third day. Three cows, two cows, and a cow in a pear tree. <laughs> oh. Cow is not happy about being in the pear tree. <laughs>